Welcome. Welcome. Here we go. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> hey guys, this is Mahindra Racing. Um, I'm Jerome D'Ambrosio and this is my teammate Pascal Verlein. Uh, we're going to ask each other a couple questions today to get to know each other better. So I'll start. Pascal, can you describe my dress sense? Oh, your dress sense is <laughs> is old and serious, but uh, you know, now yesterday you have been to the barber for the first time in your life. Makes you, makes you look a lot better, I have to say. He's been criticizing my dress sense, my fashion and... and weeks, for weeks. For weeks, yeah, since day one, I think. So uh, I had to make a little effort to uh, work yeah. on it for this weekend. What were your first impressions of me? Well, I like the haircut. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, you know, it's, it's actually, to, to be bluntly honest with you, you, you know, you hear about uh, different drivers, you know, in the paddock and some people have some... You don't you don't know what to expect really, but um, it takes time, you know, and um, especially in racing, because in the end your teammate is a particular relationship. You have to work together, and hopefully you get along. But at the same time, uh, you're competitors on track, and finding the right balance with that. And uh, I wasn't sure if I could find that with with you in the beginning, because you know there's an age difference and so on. And normally when you're younger, you're sometimes a bit more aggressive in in, in areas where it's not necessary to be aggressive. Um, but in the end, everything I think turns out pretty, uh, pretty well. We get along really well. We work really well. But when it's on track, it's on track. You try to win. I try to win. So I think in the beginning for me it was, you know, not really any preconceived idea. But it was I wanted, you know, I just was wondering how, how it would turn out if I could, could you know, be able to work well together and uh, and so on. Am I your favorite teammate ever? Oh, that's a good question. But that's supposed to be a straight answer. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I'm thinking about. I had some really nice teammates as well in Formula ADAC, which I'm still okay. friends today, or Formula 3 Felix, well, and it's also a good friend. Are you a teammate so. of uh, Felix? Yeah. Rosenquist? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Um, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's cool. But yes, you are you're Thank you. at the same level, like Thank you. of my best teammates. That's a good, uh, that's a good one. Should we kiss or...? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, 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 the girlfriends will be watching this, they're getting jealous. Okay, now it gets more serious. Who is the quicker driver, me or you? You've pulled out some strong, strong qualifying this year with a pole in Mexico, so uh, I need to raise my game to pull off uh, a pole position as well. You know, it started funny and now it gets serious. So and by the end of the interview, we hate each other. <laughs> our team orders a good idea. No, depends on the situation. Um, yeah. I've had team orders in the past, um, you know, working for me and working against me. Um, it depends really on the situation, you know, if you're fighting for the championship, if the guy behind is clearly faster. It's difficult, when you're in the car fighting, you always see, it's, you know, you think it's unfair. But in the end, it's, uh, it's at, at the moment, if I think it's unfair, I will speak with the team about it and if they insist, then I will let go. But uh, I will definitely have a discussion if I think it's not fair. Yeah, I would just do like my radio is broken or something. <laughs> Sorry, Tell me that, okay? We'll see ha, if it comes here in the you, season. You connection is... Hello? <laughs> Hello? I think I'm in a tunnel. <laughs> it works for Berlin. <laughs> Can you do an impression of me? Can I do an impression of you? No, <laughs> not really. <laughs> what weird habits do I have? Would be weird if you knew that. Sometimes you can go into detail like four hours. Ah, uh, yeah. Do you find that weird? Yeah, I find it really weird because it's sometimes you say the same thing like in 15 minutes than you could have said in 30 seconds. But it's okay. Like okay, you know what? The worst <laughs> is that my fiance is telling me the same thing. <laughs> so he's right. Yeah, I kind of have a tendency of, over, of going over things. Yeah. Okay, no. if you notice that, then But I otherwise, guess, uh, it's fine. You, yeah. you are a good guy. Otherwise. Okay, thank you. Don't, don't worry. Great. Who's got better hair? We, we answered that already, no? What do you mean we answered that? I just got a new haircut and everything. This weekend, for the first time, I saw him like properly uh, dressed, haircut and everything. And then he turns up this morning and said, what did you say? Something about my hair? About my... No, about my beard. He said, ah, it's not straight here. You need to shake your uh, straight and then it's the first time he's turning up properly, like, styled. I raised it straight, I went from... Pascal and starts to complain straight away. So who is 
my biggest Formula E rival, I wouldn't really... What about yours? <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 Lu, what's his name? Lucas Tigrassi? Crashy. Crashy? Okay, Lucas. Well, some of them I like more than others, you know, but you don't, you don't need to tell them everything. <laughs> For me, it's more obvious. Yeah, you. <laughs> it's quite obvious. If I like you, you can see it. If I don't like you, you will see it as well. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had fun and uh, you were learning something about us. So we were learning something and uh, see you soon. Uh, Pascal Galain and uh, Jerome Mike. Uh, okay. <laughs> and Jerome Ambrosio, who turns out to be me. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. Yeah.